Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about one of you will betray me, talking about Judas is carried. The scriptures are John 13 verses 21 through 32. It's a shame, but someone played the role of being the betrayer. And this is the story about Judas. In John chapter 13, it says, After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. It's always been very disturbing to me, this part of, of the, the gospel, that someone who had known Jesus, walked with him every day, watched him do the miracles, he had, he had experienced ministry with Jesus not just walked with him, he did ministry with Jesus. And yet, he finds himself in a place where he turns against the one that he knows is the savior of the world. And you, you want to just really think bad of Simon. But when you, when you begin to look at, Judas is not the only one who has betrayed Christ in their life. Do, do we not do this? It, 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 there's not a single one of us that at some point in our life that we have betrayed the Son of God by not living the way that we know that we should, by not being obedient to our calling, by not witnessing because we're ashamed to step up and say that I'm a child of God. Maybe during this time as we have this time of waiting in our homes, we can examine ourselves. The Bible tells us to go and stand before the mirror of the Word of God and to examine us ourselves through the Word. Let's all be careful that we're not the one to betray Christ in our life by our actions, but that we're the faithful disciples. We love you. God bless you.